Hi, I'm Christy Simpson with ChristySimpson.net, and in this crochet video tutorial, I will be teaching you how to crochet the basic beginner scarf. It is so easy, and it's great for those who are just learning to crochet. I used um, Karen Simply Soft and a 6.0 crochet hook. So if you know how to single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet, or even if you don't, this is a great project for you to start with. For this pattern, I used Karen Simply Soft and an H5.0 crochet hook. And we will start with a slip knot. And this is um, very easy if you have never done this before. Just take and loop it over, flip it over. Now you see this bar right here and this piece right here. Take and grab this piece while you hold the center one. Grab the long attached piece of yarn, pick up the center one, and then pull. And that's all there is to a slip knot. Most patterns will start with that. It's the easiest way to get an adjustable knot on your hook. So slide that in there. And I will go ahead and step you through these. Even if you know how to complete the basic stitches, this is a great refresher or a great way to learn. So take your crochet hook, yarn over from back to front, and pull it through the loop that's on your hook. And that is a chain. And this is a great way to practice how to hold your yarn and how to use your crochet hook. For this basic scarf, we are going to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 15 chains. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we have 15 chains. Now you have a little V on the front of your chain and on the back there is a bar that is on the back of every one. I like to use the bar because there's no guesswork and it gives you the same finish on the first row as it does for the last row. So it's very clean and it doesn't look different. So the loop that's on your hook is your first chain. So this is the second one and you work in the second chain from the hook, okay? So just take your hook, slide it under, yarn over back to front, and pull it under that stitch or chain. Okay, now there's two loops. Yarn over from back to front and pull through both. And that is a single crochet. So under, yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now complete that through this entire row and we'll go back and look and count how many stitches you have. That's so far. Under, yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, pull through two. Very easy. And it does take practice, so don't get frustrated. Just keep trying if you don't have it yet. Okay, one more in the very end here. Now, if you're unsure, if you're very new, it might be easy to take a stitch marker and mark that last stitch so that there's no question as to where you're going to put your next stitch when you work back across, okay? So, chain one, and then turn, and you're going to work from this stitch across, so back across your work. And if you use this stitch marker, you know exactly where to place your hook. For a half double crochet, which is what this next row will be, you're going to take and yarn over first. Insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, and pull back through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through. Pull through all three. And it's that easy. 
And I'm going to cruise through this, and you can take your time and practice if you need. But this scarf is great to practice your stitches with and to learn where to put your hook. And it makes it fun to create because you're not using the same single crochet or the same double crochet throughout. Plus, we're going to throw in a little trick to give it a little bit of texture and it will make it look like it's not a beginner scarf. Okay, so there's your half double crochet row and this yarn had a little bit of a fuzzy on it. Okay, so chain three. One, two, three. And that gets us ready for the next um, row. And I'm going to mark that last stitch just so that I can show you what to do on the way back through. This will count as your first double crochet, this chain three. So this first stitch has already been taken. This is your first one. So you will work in the second one. Now we are going to work in the back loop only. And if you look at your stitch here, there are two bars. The one on the back side is the back loop. The one on the front side is the front loop. So back loop and front loop. Now regardless of how you turn your work, the one on the back is the back loop, the one on the front is front loop. That's a frequently asked question. What if I turn my work? Is it the front loop on the front side of the work? No, it's always the back and the front. Okay, so a double crochet. This is the first stitch. It's already been done with this chain three. So yarn over, insert your hook into the back loop, Yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull back through, two, and then yarn over and pull through two. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the back, yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And it's that easy. Now I'm going to cruise through this and then show you how working in the back loop creates a fun texture after working on a half double crochet. And regardless of what stitch you're working on, if you work in the front or back loop, it's going to leave one unworked. So it will make a ridge, but whenever you work it on top of a half double crochet, the half double crochet has a bar, horizontal bar on the back. So it has created for us, it looks like we have a st stitch running this way across, a little ridge. See that right there? Okay, well, I'm going to take our stitch marker and mark our last stitch here so we know what our first stitch is. And for the last stitch here, chain three and turn. We've already worked this first one because that chain three counts as our first stitch. So double crochet under both loops of the stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's it. And for the rest of your pattern, you will just repeat single crochet row, half double crochet row, double crochet in the back loop only, and then double crochet in both loops. Now, this is what we need to make sure we understand also. When you're working across your row, you can A, count your stitches across to make sure Mark your first and last to make sure you get all of your stitches in. But you need to make sure it's worked and not leaning. And if it's leaning, that means you're missing a stitch. Or if you're going to a point, that means you're not working enough stitches. If it's getting too wide, that means you have too many stitches. So, we have that first chain three right here that we need to work in. So, in the chain three, the third chain, which is right here at the very top, Okay, that's where our last stitch will be. And you can mark that with a stitch marker. That way, see how clean that edge looks right there? You need to have a straight edge. Mark that chain three, mark that first stitch, mark the last stitch if you need to. 
do whatever helps you but that is the basic of this scarf like I said it's um, single crochet half double and that gives you that one bar double crochet in the back loop that gives you the other bar and then double crochet in both I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and that you'll come back for more mm -hmm.